Dudes, what's happening? It's Trent here, and uh, I, I, I've been digging into Sketchbook Pro, and I found some pretty cool little tricks, and I wanted to share them with you in these kind of brief videos. Uh, I'm also doing some full illustrations, but they tend to become overwhelming because they're about 10 hour paintings, and I wanted to just focus on some of the, the quick tip tutorials. So this is a quick tip on coloring some of your gray uh, line art or your value drawings. So one of the advantages to this is that you could draw you know your whole image all in a kind of a gray scale and not really focus too much or worry too much about your color selections and then adjust those once you've laid them all down. Well, One of the ways that I like to do that is I'll create a new layer over here and then I just set that to color and then you can go in and choose whichever color so like let's say that we wanted his hair to be a blue then you would just select a blue color and since we're on a uh, color layer, it's just gonna make that hair blue. Now, one thing about this is like, if it's white, it's, it's gonna keep all of your values. So if it's white underneath, it's gonna stay white. Um, if we wanted to darken that to show a little bit more of our color, then we could go down here and in between these two, we could create a new layer and just set that to multiply. And then using, uh, it doesn't matter which brush, uh, this is just one that I've been using, and we just select like a light gray. We can darken that a little bit. And you'll notice that the, the color information that I added, uh, just kind of, it, it turns our gray into a color. So even though that's just a little bit darker than white, it's actually picking up more of this blue that we had. So if we continue to paint with our blue that we had, then we'll notice that all of our details and all of the cool lines and things that we had added actually get to, uh, it retains all that. So uh, you can get carried away with this. I'm not gonna dig into actually painting this one right now. I just wanted to show you this quick tip, this cool technique that you can use. Uh, another thing that kind of compounds with this that works really well is uh, you can do a um, another layer on top of all that and you can set this one to multiply and then go in with a, uh, a blue, a darker blue, and you can actually multiply on top of all of that. And so you can get some cool gradients this way and really uh, continue to play with the, uh, the focal point of your, of your image. You could go crazy. If you wanna go completely bonkers, create yet another new layer. And with this one, we're gonna make it a glow layer and we're gonna go to like a nice, really saturated blue. And then we're gonna, ba bam we're gonna hit the highlights on that. We're gonna get a really cool burn in kind of a look. Wow, yeah, nice. So uh, as you can see, using layer effects in Sketchbook Pro gets you some very cool, very fun results that uh, I would highly encourage you to play around with to uh, really maximize your own uh, your own mileage that you can get. You can work really quickly this way because uh, if you're not worrying about the colors while you're painting it, you just worry about that once, you're, once you've already got your drawing done, well then you can finish your paintings a lot faster. I'm gonna show you the, I've shown you the bonkers level. I've shown you the, the, the crazy uh, uh, nutty kind of a level, but now we're gonna dig into the Super Saiyan level and we're gonna go up here to, uh, we're gonna go up here to color balance. And we're gonna actually add in um, maybe a little bit of, we're gonna add in a little bit, we're gonna change his hair color to like a kind of a green by adjusting this. You'll notice it's, it's changing it in the preview but not in the actual image. But when we hit okay, but bam! And so you can actually do that on all of your different layers and you can make all kinds of adjustments after you've already laid down all of your color. So that's my uh, quick tip for Sketchbook Pro and how to color using layer effects. I want to thank you for stopping by, and uh, if, you, if this helped you, please uh, subscribe. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments section. And uh, until next time, I will catch you all manana bon. Ciao.